Hi, welcome back to the edit room. Today we're going to look at using the film look. In this case, I wanted to make it look a little retrograde, almost like it's from the 70s. And uh, what I've done is I've taken this iPhone shot, and this is the original shot here, and just so you know, it, it was shot at 720p at 120 frames per second. And that's the shot, and that's what we're going for. And the first thing I did was add a vignette. And I'll just drag this vignette in. And I like the fall off amount to be a little less pronounced. I don't really like to know right away that there's a, a vignette on the image. So I like to um, you know, keep it pretty large like that. And then I'll go into the inspector maybe and go inside the controls for the vignette and adjust them you know accordingly there and the next thing I need to do is I'm just going to use the color board so I'll do command 6 and it brings me right to the color board I'll go to exposure and drop the blacks a little bit and maybe raise the whites a little bit just to give a little bit more of a contrasty look and then I'll, I'll go into the color board and drag the whites to this little orange area here, maybe a little brownish. And same thing for the blacks. I want the blacks to be, you know, just a little bit, a little bit orange. It doesn't have to be. In fact, you can drag it to be whatever color you want to give it that look. In fact, I kind of like that little blue look for in the blacks. And that's what you'll see a lot of times. Um, but no, actually, I'll just stick with the little brown, a little bit of brown there. Okay, so that's that's getting there. And then the next thing is the letterbox. I'll drag that on. And I'll go back into the inspector here and go to the letterbox controls. And, you know, each one of these different ratios is a little bit more of a, a black, so... I guess it just depends on which one you're looking for. I'll, I'll keep it about right there for now. And so we're getting there, but it still looks a little too video-y. It doesn't look quite like it has the noise, so I'm going to choose the Add Noise. And I'll just drag that on. And it's hard to see on the screen recording, so I'll make the noise a little bit more... I'll give a little bit more of an amount of that noise. They can really see the noise, but I don't really like the TV static because it's a little too horizontal for me. What I do like is the white noise. And so now you can see the white noise really well. I'm going to drag the amount down and then maybe the opacity. So we get just a little bit of grain in the blacks. That's what I'm looking for. And then if I uh, open up the speed controls, I'll do Command R to open up that little shelf there. I can speed it up by dragging the end of it. I'll speed it up to uh, maybe 130 and then play it back. So now we have a retrograde film look. And if you're going to be using this over and over, you can, of course, save the effect. And I'll just call this Retrograde Film Look. And, of course, it also saves the retiming of it. Maybe I don't want to do that. I'll uncheck the retiming, and I'll hit Save. And now it's saved in my effects browser. I'll scroll down to the Homemade area, and I'll be sure to clear my search field here. And there's my retrograde film look. I'll just throw that on. And of course, it doubled everything. And I don't want to double everything. Or do I? Because the film look is really subjective to what you want it to be. And there's no wrong way to do the film look or right way to do it. I guess it is wrong if you don't like it. <laughs> Anyway, I hope this gives you enough to play with, and if you want to see more, please subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you next time in the edit room.